I can still remember the day when Smith & Wesson launched the MMP 10 millimeter, a glorious day for those of you who appreciate and enjoy this caliber. Now there's even more reason to rejoice because we now have a performance center version. Look at this. <laughs> hey there everyone, my name is Julie Golub of Team Smith & Wesson, sharing guns, gear, shooting sports, and more here on YouTube as well as on social media. You can find me at Julie Golub and learn more on my website, juliegolub.com. Very, very happy to have you join me today as I share the features of this newest member of the MMP and Performance Center family. Now, before I get too far as a pro shooter, it's important to me to make sure that you know that I am sponsored and supported by amazing companies, Smith & Wesson, Federal Premium, Trigicon, Felster, Caldwell, Tipton, Wheeler, and CCW Safe. This video and the products you'll see featured here are sponsored. Let's chat about this new pistol, shall we? The new Performance Center MMP M2.0 10 millimeter is a polymer framed pistol with an armonite corrosive resistant finish on metal parts. Chambered in the mighty 10 millimeter, this Performance Center MMP has a lot of great features. As with standard M2.0s, you have interchangeable palm swells in four sizes, small, medium, medium, large, and large. I have a small on mine and you can see how it fits my hand. I can still reach the trigger with a full pad of my finger. Here's a little pro tip. If you do have smaller hands or shorter fingers, you can shoot this pistol without a palm swell. Just remove it, take some grip tape to smooth it all out a little, and that should help you get more reach on this larger frame. This pistol is optics ready to allow you to shoot your favorite red dot. I'll be adding either an RMR Type 2 or a Trujicon SRO to mine. Let me know in the comments below which of these two Trujicon optics that you would mount to the slide. I'd love to hear your thoughts. The PC MMP 10 millimeter features extra tall iron sights to accommodate the red dot, and they are also night sights. So tritium inserts in both the front and the rear. This is especially nice for low and no light shooting. It's a full-size pistol with a 1 in 10 twist 5.6 inch barrel that also happens to be ported. You have two elongated ports along the top here and I really, really like the detail on the slide with the way they cut it so that it actually looks like a comped pistol. In fact, I really like all the cuts and the way this pistol looks on the top end. You'll see some footage of me here shooting the standard 4 inch model without porting and this new performance center option. I'm shooting this weekend only as I'm still recovering from open shoulder surgery. I'm not quite ready <laughs> to shoot something with this much recoil just yet and shooting one handed again with my support hand. You can see how well this porting works to help keep the muzzle rise down. I'm also shooting, of course, federal premium ammunition. Now, one of the things I love about the MMPs is that when they first hit the market in mid 2000s, the first models were chambered in 40 caliber. 40 enjoyed more popularity back then, uh, whereas today, 9mm has well surpassed it. Unlike other popular polymer frame pistols that were designed around 9mm, the engineers at Smith & Wesson made the first MMPs in 40 and really paid attention to ergonomics using that 18 degree grip angle that just feels so good. <laughs> As a result, I think that the MMPs shooting hotter ammo and larger calibers, they really shine. They are much more pleasant to shoot and the recoil to me feels significantly less compared to other 40, 45, and 10 millimeter polymer frame guns that I've shot. That also means that the ergonomics help make the 10 millimeter MMPs uh, a joy to shoot. This combined with the extended steel chassis inside embedded into the frame and the enhanced grip texture to help you maintain a good shooting grip, it's surprising how soft this shoots considering the power of this cartridge and how light this pistol is. Smith & Wesson lists an overall length of 8.6 inches and an overall height at 5.6 inches. The width is nice and slim at 1.3 inches. For the weight, it comes in at 31.4 ounces. Of course, it will weigh more with a full magazine and an optic. Speaking of mags, you get two 15 rounders, so that's 15 plus one capacity, 
and it comes in a plastic case that I know many of you will appreciate. MSRP is $749. Porting and optics ready are often upgrades from the Performance Center, but there's one more feature to talk about, and that is the trigger. The Performance Center MMP 10 millimeter has a flat trigger, something especially nice for this larger frame, and that's something I appreciate with shorter fingers. Flat triggers give you more freedom to place your trigger finger where you need to, but this one is extra special because it's Performance Center tuned. Compared to the standard M&P in 10 millimeter and the Performance Center option, the PC feels more refined. There isn't that much difference in the trigger weight itself, how heavy the pull is, but on the PC version, I really like how firm the back end pressure feels against my finger after releasing the trigger. There's a good amount of forward pressure, whether you just wanna feel or hear the reset point, or allow the trigger to return completely to the forward position. The press itself is more crisp, meaning you feel the tension point and then it just breaks. Whereas with my stock model, you definitely feel a little bit more of a roll to it. Obviously not as extreme as a double action pistol, but it feels like there's more movement through the pull before the break. Now, one thing to note is that it is standard with a thumb safety. I don't know if they plan to add another SKU with a no thumb safety version, but I will say this, that the safety is very well designed. It's ambidextrous and is a very good size to allow for easy activation and deactivation. I highly recommend training so that you learn to ride the thumb safety. Not only does this give you added control over the safety, but it prevents you from accidentally bumping the safety up while you're shooting. I also find that riding the safety forces me to keep a higher grip. This is very useful for controlling recoil, especially for 10 millimeter. So main takeaways here, the PC M&P 10 millimeter is optics ready with tall night sights, has a ported 5.6 inch barrel and an enhanced trigger with a very smooth pull and a tactile and audible reset. If you're a fan of this caliber, you'll definitely want to check it out along with the other offerings in 10 millimeter. To learn more, you can visit smith-wesson.com. If you want to check out the standard model, I will leave a link to the video I made on this one as well. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'd love, love to make 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you know someone who would enjoy my videos, please share them with them. Likes, comments are always welcome and appreciated. Until the next one, be safe, have fun, and live your life fully loaded.